this short film shows colleagues in Liverpool describing what needs to be done to be the best for families with very young children. You will hear about the importance of focusing on the early years, supporting parents and thinking family, and also how compassion and kindness and listening to communities are essential to make services accessible to those who need them most. Here in Liverpool, we're making these changes by working together. If you look at any sort of research around um, late life outcomes, then it all goes back to early intervention. You know, I think that's groundbreaking. I think, um, you know, there's, I mean, thousands of studies and all the science, all the literature, all the lived experience, all the examples you hear about um, from people, you know, demonstrates that if they have a lot of challenges early on in life, and they don't get the help they need, um, then it can lead to the, the likelihood of more problems later on in life. If we can think with parents and families about supporting them to be the kind of parent they want to be and they hope to be, um, I think it not only supports the parents themselves um, in their experience of being a parent, but also being able to support their children and the families around them. That's something that I really value in the work. There's space to think with parents about what parenting looks like for them. And there's room to do that in a way that feels authentic and meaningful to them, as opposed to it being a system where there are expectations of what they should be doing or what that has to look like. Services have to be inclusive of everybody. And I think it's very important for us as a city to make sure that, yeah, it's inclusive across the city, but actually location-wise and locality-wise, it needs to be broken down to be accessible for the range of people that live in them communities. It's great to have a strategy and it's great to have, but we really need those people with expert knowledge of the audiences, the communities that they need to serve to gain um, you know, parent participation, to gain them families' voices, their children's voices, to figure out exactly what it is they need to do to make them services accessible. Thinking about improving access to services, and just supporting women from minoritized backgrounds and thinking about how we can do that creatively as well. So kind of entering spaces where these women are and rather than asking them to come to us. And yeah, just really thinking about how we can go into communities rather than forcing almost communities to come into our services. So it's not just the parent who is suffering, it's actually their family as well. And I think that can sometimes be missed in a lot of services, so in adult services, if you're accessing services, then you know, you're know you directly supported, but then what is the impact of that on your family? And I think that's sometimes the bit that doesn't get picked up. So many different services are operating in the same areas. And if we can just come together as services, we're probably actually reaching out to a lot more people than we realise. So if we can communicate better then and combine our outreach a bit more, then I think what we'll find is we're already doing quite a lot and yes, and more needs to happen, but everyone will have a better understanding of and help each other reach reach all the families that we want to reach. I just think it's so nice to come to a, a place like this today and hear sort of the the passion and the and the empathy and, and sort of the kindness in the room because, you know, if you ask someone a question, everyone always says, oh, we care about people's wellbeing, care about people's health, but obviously, you know, the proof is in the pudding in terms of what actions are being taken. And I think a lot more actions need to be taken across probably all sectors. You know, I work in primary care. I, I do believe more can be done in primary care. So I just think more needs to be done, um, more focus on the child and those formative years um, and supporting those families. And uh, yeah, today is a great, a great sort of place to, to explore that.